Hello, my name is Rebecca. I am a wushu athlete and this video goes through a week of my training. So for those who don't know me, my name is Rebecca. I am 25 years old. I have trained wushu for about six years now, but I would say in the last three years, I've had much more focused training with more serious coaching. Before that, I was a gymnast for the greater part of a decade, but now I'm currently living and working in the Bay Area. For most people who've ever trained wushu, especially outside of China, you'll know that it's never not the logistical puzzle to get all the things that you need in order to train a coach, a place to train, a time to train, people to train with. Having all of these things is kind of like balancing a very delicate equation. So this video kind of goes through how I figure out how to balance that equation for myself, but I hope that other people who train wushu and are trying to figure out training situations for themselves can see this video and feel related to in some way. All right, overview of my wushu schedule. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday is wushu training. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is strength and conditioning. And Tuesday, Thursday, I squeeze in some stretching sessions. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first session of the week, strength training. I work with a strength coach over video call, uh, and he's wonderful. Uh, broadly speaking, my strength training goal is to develop athletic qualities that will make me better at wushu. If you've seen wushu before, you know that generating and directing explosive power is a huge part of what makes the sport interesting to watch. So today we're focusing on generating that explosive power through the squat pattern. Uh, you can see here the thing that we're really trying to focus on is the quick turnaround between going down and exploding back upwards. After that, we worked on some snatches, again working on just generating that explosive power. We're still biasing towards our left side. At the end, it was getting a little bit heavy and I failed my last rep, but... Now that you have to feel rep, it usually would be your last rep on your last set. That was it? Yeah. Oh, we did it! We did it! Did it. Alright, Monday nights are my private lesson, yay! <laughs> Practice is pretty typical, basic combos and a form. Uh, one combo that we really dialed in was the ending of my longest one. If you watch closely, you'll see that my arms and legs and stance are a bit out of sync. Instead of going all like, ah, it's like, blah, you know, as I slowly sink into my stance. Uh, we tried to fix it, which was hard, I think because of the strength and balance needed to get into that low stance, um, but needs some more work. Tuesday morning stretching! I started with just opening up my hip flexors a bit because they get super tight from all the sitting that I do while driving, editing, whatnot. For this, I really love Tom Merrick's stretching follow-alongs. This one in particular I'm doing is a 5 minute hip flexor follow-along. Intense! Uh, just as advertised, it's actually pretty intense, but it does a great job of blasting everything open. While I let my hips rest for a bit, I opened up my shoulders and upper back. One thing that I notice about the wushu athletes that I really love to watch is they're great at changing from concave to convex in their upper back, um, and that requires just the thoracic mobility and just looseness. Um, to get that fully extended look. After that, it was time for a middle splits training. Again, I do Tom Mary's follow along, which I personally love because he really works on strengthening the muscles that are getting stretched and guides you along in the whole process so you can't like mess it up. There are some static stretches and some PNF stretches, which depend a lot on breathing and muscle contractions to be effective. Um, I'm definitely not an expert at this, which is why I just let him guide me through the process. On Tuesday nights, some friends and I ran out a carpet, which is pretty lit. Uh, I was starting to move around, but my wrist was feeling really funky, which is too bad because for the most part, the rest of my body felt fine, but I couldn't like make any hand shapes and I didn't really want to put any power through my arm. 
So that night, I just ended up working on that one combo that my coach was telling me to fix the rhythm of. I was kind of bummed that I couldn't do more wushu, but at the same time, I think it worked out because one, I got to work on this combo, and two, because this session was actually a new session recently added into my training schedule. If you add too much volume into your schedule too quickly, it just increases the likelihood of injury, so taking it easy, I think, was definitely a good call. Morning. All right, bright and early Wednesday morning strength session. Uh, the grass was super wet this morning, so we couldn't do our hinge jumps. Instead, my coach, who was wonderful, suggested that we take some time to target specific muscles in my hips to improve my kicks. If you watch any high-level wushu athlete do a French stretch kick, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, the kick is really fast and really snappy. There's a really elastic quality to it. It doesn't just go up and down, it springs back down. Second of all, the rest of the body is totally relaxed while all of this is happening. Then, if you watch my French stretch kicks, it's not exactly the same. My chest comes forward, my hands bobble quite a bit, and instead of being really quick and elastic, it feels a lot more forced. There's a couple of reasons for this, uh, mostly improper training over a number of years, utilization of the wrong muscles, lack of flexibility, etc, etc. Um, so what we're trying to do here is retrain my hip to use the proper muscles and get that really smooth pendulum swing. It's going okay, definitely a lot more movement in my hips and waist than there should be, um, but I think with a couple thousand more really mindful reps, I'll definitely get the hang of it. Wednesday is small group class day. <laughs> I usually drag a couple friends out to train with me, and tonight it was my friend Brian. I was pretty pleased that my coach actually said that my kicks had gotten better, maybe due to the practice that we did that morning, maybe coincidence. We'll keep training to find out. Because both Brian and I are preparing for competition in December, we both did a full set, uh, which went okay. Shortly after that, we tried another one, um, but petered out somewhere along the way. You can see the quality of movement slowly degrading as my form and the night progress, um, but such is preparation for competition. Thursday stretching! Uh, so again, I am following Tom Merrick's follow along, this time for front splits instead of middle splits. Um, definitely not where my splits need to be to be a wushu athlete, but this is why we work on it. After that, I worked on my head to toe for a little bit because wushu is strained and requires this range of motion. Um, and then because that range of motion was all warmed up, I took the opportunity to do some more of those pendulum stretch kick practice things. Nothing too intense, just trying to build up that muscle memory and activate the right hip muscles for my kicks. Friday is my least favorite strength training day, <laughs> so big thanks to my coach Colin for pushing me through my training. Today we are doing lower body training for explosiveness and reactivity, specifically through sprints and miscellaneous running drills. I'm generally not a big fan of running slash sprinting, partially because the grass that I'm on is a really short distance to start and stop, and it's kind of slippery, and it's kind of lumpy, and if there's ever been a woman out there with a chest like mine who likes to run, I mean, come on. <laughs> If you want to feel simultaneously frustrated and tired and confused, try to hop back and forth on one leg as fast as you can, as long as you can, as far as you can from side to side. Uh, it's a lot of fun, I promise. Friday night wushu! On this particular day, I was in class with the kids. I felt a little bit like Buddy the Elf, but it was definitely worth it to have the training time and space, and plus the kids are just super fun. I spent a lot of time working on the opening moves for my form. In particular, this balance was really tricky, especially with my limited hip mobility, especially when you have to go into it really quick. Uh, it's just tricky and needs more stretching and more practice and more stretching and more practice. All right, Saturday morning, real quick stretch, nothing fancy, no PNF routines here, just moving the joints and keeping everything fluid. Um, on Sunday, some friends and I rent out a place again. I think that right now, the biggest area of improvement that I need to work on before my competition is just my endurance. I gotta make it through the form without dying in the middle, so today, it was double full set day. But like I said, we're about a month out, so we'll just keep at it. 
Okay, that wraps up my week of training video. If you got some value or learned something interesting from this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below letting me know what is one thing that you are focusing on in your training this week. And if you're interested in seeing more content, definitely hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.